Today we're going to go ahead and review all those strategies, so join me as we watch this quick video. Alright, so my first number here, or my equation, I'm going to show you um, drawing. So I've got 8 plus 2 and I'm going to draw 8 shapes and then add 2 more. So this is one strategy you can be using. So it's drawing. So like I'm going to just draw some circles. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Add 2 more. So I have 8 here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I add two more, that would be nine and 10. So all together, I would have 10. Let's try another strategy. This next strategy is counting, um, or is counting on my fingers. So if I have a problem like this, that is five plus five, and I count on my fingers, I would go one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So five plus five is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my answer would be ten. Let's try a new problem. And this time I'm going to be using manipulatives or uh, counters. So I'm going to do four plus six. I'm going to do four bats. One, two, three, four four plus six witches one two three four five six oops that's a cat there's the witch and now I go back and count them all I can drag them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so my answer would be ten and that last strategy we have used and talked about a lot you can use it with your um, manip manipulatives or you can just count on from your fingers but you circle the bigger number. So here it would be seven, seven plus three. And so then I would go seven, I'd add three more. One, two, three. So then I could do seven, eight, nine, ten. My answer would be 10. You can choose one of these, whichever is the most efficient for you to use. How do you feel about these math games and practicing using that efficient strategy? Do you feel good? Awesome, that's how we need to feel. Continue to practice because you know what? Practice makes perfect. Keep working hard, learners. I can't wait to see you next time.